In this video, we're going to focus in on one particular area of cybersecurity, and that's social engineering threats. So all social engineering threats have one thing in common. It involves the art of trying to manipulate people so they give up confidential information. There's a wide variety of techniques which are employed to try and force people to give up information. The three you need to know about are blagging, phishing and shouldering. Let's have a look at each technique now. So the first technique is called blagging, sometimes referred to as pretexting, and this really is quite simple. It's the act of creating and using an invented scenario to engage a targeted victim in a manner that increases the chance the victim will divulge information or perform actions which would be unlikely in ordinary circumstances. This can be done really simply over the phone. For example, you receive a phone call from someone supposing to be from your bank. They may have managed to previously collect a certain amount of information about you. Maybe they know some personal details, your name, your bank account number. They know your address. The phone call sounds very convincing. As the phone call progresses, you become more and more convinced that you are actually speaking to a legitimate person from your bank. During the phone call, they start to ask questions that get you to divulge information which you shouldn't be giving over the phone. It's a sad fact of life that a lot of elderly people are sometimes targeted by this sort of social engineering threat. Some of them are typically much less comfortable with technology and are more trusting. There are several ways to help prevent blagging. Methods used to obtain information can be very convincing. We can train people on how to spot blagging attempts and teach people what sort of questions they should be asking. Quite often people simply lack the appropriate knowledge. The next technique is known as phishing, spelt with a PH. This is the concept of sending emails which are supposedly meant to be from reputable companies. The emails are designed to induce people to reveal personal information, much like blagging was over the concept of a phone call. Again, people can often receive emails, and you may have received some like this, that tell you there's a mistake with your bank account, that your bank account has been locked and you must take immediate action to unlock it. There'll often be a link provided to click here. This can take you to a web page that looks like your bank's web page. However, if you check carefully, you often discover that the web address is not your bank's web address. Without checking, you could start to log in to your bank account. And of course, you are providing the hacker here with personal information. There are some good ways of spotting phishing emails. Quite typically, they're generic and they're not named personally. The email address they come from can look unusual. And sometimes the spelling and grammar is far from perfect. The last technique you need to know about is one of the most simple. It's called shouldering, or sometimes known as shoulder surfing. And this is the idea of observing a person's private information over their shoulder. For example, when they're at a cash point and typing in their PIN number. And again, it's the simplest of techniques which can help prevent this making sure you clearly cover your PIN number when you're typing it in. If you work in a highly sensitive office surrounded by other colleagues and you are dealing with personal or financial data, you can get devices called screen guards. You place them over your monitor and it's only if you're looking directly face on that you can see what's on your screen. If you move to the left or the right, even at a slight angle, the cover completely blanks out your screen so people can't read what's on it. So again, in summary, social engineering is the art of manipulating people so they can give up confidential information. There are three you need to know about for the exam, and that's blagging, phishing, and shoulder surfing. 
The best way to protect people from all forms of social engineering is simply good education and training. Teach people how to spot fake emails. Tell people what questions they should be asking if they receive phone calls. And teach people never to give out personal details unless they are absolutely sure and comfortable. Thank you.